right, so now we will try to understand how to set all the initial and the boundary conditions for airfoil. So previously we did it by using Fluent and now we're going to try CFX. So this is another tool uh, we can use. And basically from here, uh, we can easily calculate the drag and lift. We need to use um, some expressions for that, okay? So we already have the mesh ready. So I imported the mesh. Now just um, right click on that and click on edit, or you can double click, whatever you want. Then you need to wait. So system is opening, you can see here. Um, yeah, so it's ready now. We can see our geometry, the airfoil. Now, what do we need to do is, we do not need to think about this is our mesh. Uh, we do not need to think about this. We need to set all the initial conditions in the domain. So here, uh, this is, if you click on the domain, the default domain, so you'll see it's highlighted. So we will set all the, you know, the inlets, outlets, and the other boundary from these options. So right click on that, you will see different options. I'm not going to discuss about it because it will just uh, increase the length of the video. Click on insert and click on the boundary because we are going to set the boundary conditions. So initially we need the inlet. So I'll write it like inlet and click on OK, then you will see it like this. So this is the boundary type. Here, if you click, there are different types of boundary. So it is inlet. And now you need to say, where is your inlet locations? So this is the inlets. Oh, sorry, this is the inlet. Now you can see, um, yep. So this is our inlet. The boundary details, what is the polarizing, whether it is, um, so we, we'll keep it as, as it is. We can play with these options for the mass and the momentum equations. So we'll keep it as a uh, normal thing. Sometimes we can use, you know, the different concession velocity component, especially when you need to consider the angle of attacks, then um, you need to select the Cartesian velocity component, then it will give you the X, Y, Z to different velocity from different angles. So uh, this is basically we need when we actually want to consider the, you know, um, uh, the, the, the angle of attack for the air file. But here we'll use the normal speed. Let's say this is 10 meter per second. Just for example, uh, the intensity, the turbulence intensity options, you can play with like what sort of uh, thing you're going to use. But today we're not considering that. We'll keep everything as it is, okay? The source, you do not need to think about it. So keep everything as it is and click on okay. So it's telling like, okay, this is your inlet, like how the flow will go. So this is your inlet surface and you see this arrow. Click on the domain again, um, click on the insert, boundary, say outlet, click on okay. Um, select the location here, this is outlet. Put the pressure, we have the relative pressure is, uh, on one three to five Pascal, that's equal to the atmospheric pressure. I'll keep everything as it is. I, we do not need to change anything here. Click on apply and okay. So you see we have the inlet, the flow is coming this way, flow is going out through this surface. And uh, if you can remember during the name selections, we did three you know, different name selections. So I said this is the top surface, um, click on okay. Um, it is, you can say the opening or you can say the wall. So I'll put it as wall. So this is the top wall. The boundary details, this is no slip. Uh, that means the zero velocity and the smooth wall. It's not a rough surface, so click on OK. The same thing for the bottom wall. So go to the insert boundary. Say this is the bottom wall and click on OK. So this is the wall, select the bottom wall and click on apply and okay now in the front click on the boundary so let's say front click on okay so the front is is a kind of um symmetry so it's the similar surface here uh, it makes uh, it, it will explain it with symmetry during the class so let's say this is the symmetry 
and the locations um, it is the um, we say the phone tool okay click on apply so it's telling like how if you see from in this angle you see this arrow okay now we have one more um, this is the back wall so click on back and um, this is the symmetry and the back wall okay so we have done all the you know the inlight outlights and the walls now we we have um one more this is the air pulse the main part click on the boundary um say so this is the airfoil okay um so like this is this the wall and this is the airfoil and all it is mostly and the smooth all right so we have done all the side of um the solution units I will keep this as it is and I'm going to change it. Okay, so click on the outline. The solver controls here, uh, you can change it. Um, we'll run it for 100 iterations, but when you will run the simulation, you can make it as 1000, it doesn't matter. So when your solution is, con you know, will converge, it will automatically stop. So this number doesn't, um, you know, you know, it will not influence your results. So you can, you can increase this number. So it's better put a 2,000, 5,000 like that, okay? So you put it 1,000. RMS, this is the convergence criteria, like, um, you know, the, this is the residual convergence criteria value. We put this target value is 1 into 10 to the power 4. Uh, in fluent, it is default to the power 3. And um, when you're using CFX, it is 10 to the power 4. So we'll keep this as it is. Here we can select some, uh, Values, but basically we're going to do some basic things with the first projects so we'll keep everything as it is so just click on apply and okay um the output controls here um i'm not going to change for now we can do it later on this is the materials in you have whatever materials you have if you really want to change some properties you can do it from here or you can delete the other one i'm not doing anything for now here are uh, the expressions. Um, what I will do, I will just right click, I'll click on uh, insert and I'll put the expressions. So I need to calculate the drag. So I'll type it as drag, click on okay. And now we need to put what should be the expressions for the drag. Uh, I uploaded it. This is the drag. Um, okay, this is the drag expressions. Uh, we are using from benchmark you know, the experimental data. But here you see we use the air foil is capital, inlay is capital I. But when we did the name selections, it was, um, you know, the small later. So it will give us, it is case sensitive, so it will give us an error. So let me do it a uh, small a, small a, and the inlay is small i. Here this is, you know, small i and then click on apply i believe i've changed other now um we'll do the same thing with the lift click on the lift click on okay and then select the lift coefficient so this is the drag coefficient and the lift coefficient value we are going to calculate same thing here uh put it in the small a here small a this is small i and lastly here this is small i click on apply right so we'll go back to the um, expressions pick outline so this is everything i'm not going to change anything else now what i'll do is i'll close it so we have done all the setup um i'll just close this window uh, i'll go to the workbench now i'll click on the solution let's see how it goes um i just double click on that you can click and um, right click and you can say edit or update so that's the same thing so this is updating now you need to select the double precisions and this is my computer the host computer i'll click on run see how it goes um so it should start the, the calculation soon so it's uh, actually taking some time
yeah we can see the simulation is started um we put it one thousand and now you can ask me how long it will run we put the the residual criteria values into the power pole so that means this line all these four curves you see different curves so it should either touch this line or it should go below this line so when all this value it will be into the power four then simulation will automatically stop there's your solution conversed and that means it's completed if you check here you can check all the the values it's you know moving fast so we can discuss it later on so you can see in your report you need to actually include this figure to prove that okay your solution conversed you see this um this one it's already touched so it become it conversed so we need to wait for this one crane on so that's the last one and once this one will test this surface, this line, then you will see solution will automatically stop. So we do not need to do anything. So already, you know, the food about 50 iterations um, running. So it's it's almost done. You see, it will it will you know stop automatically. So once it will test here, yeah. So I think it just into the four four. So now it will stop. So that's say it, it will automatically stop the simulation. You do not need to do anything, but you need to wait until this. So this is um, how we will run you know, the simulation in CFX. In your report, um, you need to actually probe, you need to just include this figure. And because we need some evidence that you did it you know, properly and your simulation conversed without conversed solution it will be some incorrect results so that's it um and i will just stop this video now and we will discuss the post process